A 7.9 meters long Wenjian is a little longer than the Tianhe Coal module, and the two share the same girth at their bulkiest parts. Unless you're very good at spatial thinking, it's not always easy to tell these two apart at a glance. Both were designed by the China Academy of Space Technology, and its experts say Wentian is one of a kind. When we look at Wentian lab module's tasks, we will see its many things in one. For one, it's a control platform for the entire space station. That's Wentian's function as a backup for Tianhe, and the key functions are backed up one to one. Secondly, it's a lab module. So it's capable of large-scale space experiments, both in and outside of Wentian's sealed cabin, and on a greater scale than ever. Also, Wentian is an active spacecraft, so it's similar to the manned spaceship and cargo ships in that it will travel and dock with the Tianhe core module through the fast rendezvous and the docking procedure. So Wentian has many roles. And when Wentian and Tianhe are both in place, it doesn't just increase the space station's capacity, but its safety as well. One more module in orbit actually means more sets of precautions available. We design with the safety of the entire space station assembly in mind. Before, there was only the core module with the cargo ship and manned spaceship, but with Wentian there, there were two modules for the space station. Wen Tian can also handle key functions like energy management, information management, manned environment control, and overall attitude and orbit control. So, in case of danger, we have two sets of safety insurances from Wen Tian and Tianhe. And the two modules will weigh together for the space lab module Meng Tian arriving in a few months. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.